Jane was the wife of Pastor David. They lived on a small farm with cows, chickens, and a vegetable garden. Every morning, Jane woke up before the sun to do her chores. One morning, Jane went out to the barn. She gasped. The barn door hung open. Jane clutched her chest. Did someone break in? She tiptoed inside, grabbing a pitchfork just in case. Jane peered into the stalls. The cows looked up at her with calm eyes. She breathed a sigh of relief. But then Jane noticed one of the stall doors was unlatched. Her heart raced. She walked over slowly. Behind the stall door lay a big bundle. Jane jumped back, startled. But then she looked closer. It was a person wrapped up in an old blanket. Jane set down the pitchfork and gently pulled back the blanket. A young woman's face appeared peaceful in sleep. Jane decided to let the woman rest for now. She fetched some eggs and milk from the barn to make breakfast. When she returned to the kitchen, the woman was sitting at the table. Thank you for your kindness, the woman said softly. I was traveling alone and grew afraid last night. Your barn provided shelter. Jane smiled and placed the food on the table. You are welcome here, my dear. Over breakfast, the woman explained she was a missionary traveling to spread God's word. Jane invited her to stay as long as she needed to regain her strength. Days passed, and the missionary helped Jane with her chores. Jane was touched by the woman's serene nature and strong faith. One afternoon, a slick salesman knocked at the farmhouse door, trying to peddle some fancy seeds. Jane politely declined, but he grew angry and rude. The missionary watched with a small frown. After he left, Jane sighed. I feel bad for that lost soul. The missionary put a reassuring hand on Jane's arm. Do not lose heart. We must pray for him to find his way. Later, Jane went to the barn to milk the cows. She turned the corner and screamed. The salesman was there, shoving his bags of seeds into the cow's feeding trough. Stop! You'll make them sick, Jane cried. The salesman whirled around with an ugly sneer. This'll teach you a lesson, lady. Jane backed away, frightened. Just then, the missionary appeared in the barn doorway, her presence commanding respect. Sir, you are on private property. Please leave at once. The salesman opened his mouth to retort, but one look at the missionary's calm, unwavering gaze gave him pause. He grabbed his belongings and stalked off, muttering under his breath. Jane turned to the missionary with grateful tears in her eyes. Thank you. How did you know to come? The missionary smiled serenely. I felt God's nudge in my heart that something was wrong. That night at bedtime, Pastor David marveled over the missionary's story to Jane. She was clearly an answer to prayer, Jane told him. I sense a heavenly light shines within her. The next morning, Jane went out to do chores as usual, but the missionary's mat in the living room was empty and neatly folded. Jane searched the entire farm, her heartbeat quickening. Where could she have gone? Jane rushed back to the house to wake Pastor David. Just then, she noticed a piece of paper on the kitchen table, a note from the missionary. Dearest Jane and Pastor, my heart overflows with gratitude for your kindness. You have renewed my faith in the inherent goodness of God's people. But now I must travel on heeding the call to spread his light and love to others in need. Know that your compassion has made an indelible mark on my soul. Tears shone in Jane's eyes as she read the note out loud to David. Then she looked up with a radiant smile. We may never know her identity, but I believe we hosted an angel herself, sent from heaven to watch over this little farm. Thank you for watching and see you next time for another powerful and motivational Christian story. Stay blessed.